In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Northwind database to solve some of the sample questions. Uh, let's look at the first two questions. The first example is list product that is less than $10 and list product ID, product name, and price from the Northwind database. So let's create a new query. And since we're interested in product, we need to choose the product table. Once the product table has been selected, we can select product ID, product name, and then the unit price. So let's adjust this. In this case, we need to list product by its product ID, product name, and the unit price. However, there's a criteria that the unit price need to be less or equal to $10. This is where you put in the criteria. We can run this now by click on view, the data sheet view. So this is the answer. If you need to sort the result by say price, we can click here and say I want to sort it, let's say in descending order. If you run it, that's from the highest price to the lowest price. You can change the sorting sequence and come back and say I want to sort it by ascending order. So that's the result. Let's look at the second example. Try to list product that is between $10 to $20 and still list the product ID, product name, and, and the price and sort the result by price in descending order. So the easier things to do now is to go to the design mode. We can just use the previous query as example. It has to be greater equal to $10 and less equal $20. Be careful how you write this greater equal or less equal uh, has to be written in this format. Leave a space in between the logical and operator. This has to be sorted. Let's double check. Sorted in descending order. So we need to sort in descending order. So that give us the answer. Let's look at the third question. List the product that's less than $10 with product ID, product name, and price and sort the result in price in descending order. Actually, we have pretty much done this previously. I'm going to skip this and let's look at the next question. Show the two most expensive products that are less than $10 with product ID, product name, and price and sort the result in descending order. So let's come back and work on this one. So the unit price, it has to be less than $10. Sort it in descending order. If we run it, this is what we have. If you need to show only the top two highest price, but still less than $10 in the product table, you need to switch to the SQL view and say top two, add top two after select statement and before the first column. If you run it, three items show up, it's supposed to be two, but since this three product has the same price, so the system will show three instead of two, but that's the correct answer. Once again, you have to add the top two in the select clause to select the top two highest priced product where the unit price is less or equal to $10. Let's work on another example. Here, 
we ask list all the product in the beverage category with its product ID, product name, and price. So let's study this a little bit. Um, let's first go to the, come back to the product table, go to the design mode, and see what we have here. We've got category. So let's run, see what we see in the category. So that's the category. Okay, if we want to limit, in this case, product to the beverage category, in this case, in our database, the beverage is spelled as beverage. So what we have to do is we come back. There's no criteria, by the way, in terms of this example. We'll come back and say the category ID is criteria wise should be equal to averages. There's no price limitation. Let's still sort it by uh, price in descending order. And we also need to go back in this case, get rid of the top two. There's something wrong in my, I see. Okay. Seeing is uh, deceiving in this case. We need to go to table and study our table here. We have the category, there's a category Beverage category ID is one in the category table. In our product table, if we look at it, we have the category ID in the product table. So in order to make it work, there's two ways to make this work in our, our query works. Let's go back to the design view for the query. The category ID is supposed to be equal one, not beverage. Um, earlier in the query result for some um, extra design effort, we were seeing the category name uh, for beverage and however internally in the product table the category ID is actually one. So now if we run it, we'll find out we are getting all the beverage product from the product listed by unit price in descending order. If you don't want to show the category, you can deselect it, and that's the result. Okay, and let's take another look. Let's work from the scratch, the very beginning from scratch. What is the average price for all the beverage product? Okay, assume We don't have any query exists. We start from new, create, choose product table. Let's choose the category table. There's a reason for that. We want to find out the average price for product, which is actually average instead of figuring out beverage is a category for product and the category ID is one, we can use the join to get the category name and use it as a criteria and say the beverage name is equal to the category name, sorry, the category name is equal to beverage. 
of members is called beverage. And then we got the unit price. Okay. And since it is, we need to figure out the average unit price. So we click total here and say that is average. And then let's run it. So in this case, this is actually the average unit price of all the beverage product. This concludes our tutorial in terms of how to use the Northwind database. Thank you.